back guys this is this video is in response to a video I made about how to go from Mexico to cross into the United States I've gotten over a hundred thousand views in that video which is awesome thank you very much for watching it link in the description one of the questions that I get the most I'm talking about like almost on a daily basis is it usually goes like this I haven't been in Mexico in a while when I'm in Mexico and I want to cross back over, can I just use my birth certificate and an ID or a driver's license, right? It kind of varies. And what I tell people is that if you're a U.S. citizen, the United States cannot stop you from crossing back in to the United States. So the answer is you don't necessarily need one. I mean, you can bring, you can bring them, meaning your ID and birth certificate if you like, but again, if you don't have it, it really doesn't change the fact that they, they, can't, <clears throat> they can't let you in. But you know what? If you feel like bringing them with you, go ahead. Now, there is an issue. They've, in the last like two, three years, Mexico has changed the policy where if you're going to cross over walking into Mexico, which is the video I show, if you're going to walk into Mexico, you're going to need a passport or the passport card. And also, if you're going to fly into Mexico, same deal. As of today, I don't think that they require that for driving into Mexico yet. I'm not sure. You would have to double check on that. So that means if you're going to, let's say you do a day trip to TJ to eat, you're going to need a passport to walk into Mexico. And then you'd use the same passport to walk back through. So the really, the really only way you're gonna get into Mexico and still you know, try and come back with just a, an ID and a birth certificate is if you drive in and then drive back out. But again, you don't need those two things if you're a US citizen. If you wanna just cross over with your ID and birth certificate is they're gonna hold you, maybe. <laughs> so let's say you try and cross the Border Patrol agent or the CBP officer actually, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions, they're gonna try and verify if what you're saying is true or not. And if they, you know, if they think you're telling the truth, they'll probably just let you walk right on by. But if they think that you're lying or maybe you're holding back, they'll put you into secondary in which they'll search you and then try and verify you are who you say you are. So by not bringing a passport, you're actually risking having to go to secondary and possibly be there for a few hours I've not had to do secondary um, I've done secondary once in a car but it's because one of the people in my car didn't have all the paperwork ready but I've never been through walking so I don't know it, it could be a short time could be a long time but anyway if you guys have any questions about the Mexico thing let me know and also I have those other videos linked in the description I'm not gonna cut any of this uh, video so that you can Gives you a good uh, idea how long it takes to actually walk into Mexico.